Ugh. So your computer entertainment has nothing to do with this. They also don't have anything to do with constantly playing their thing. Anyway, it's me. It's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> it's actually quarter, yeah, 11 past. 11, what, 17 past. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Counting is fun, isn't it? Anyway, this is the placeholder. Because for the plans going, I have a Dodge laptop. Mr. Here's all your rights because because apparently there are a lot of things that they couldn't even get for the third game. Like they couldn't get a few of these for really? for the film. They couldn't get they they couldn't get a few for the film, and then they couldn't get half of them for the game. Like they couldn't put Mr. Potato Head in the third right. game. That, uh, anyway, here's my sister. Hello, sister. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I know, because, you know, they're all owned by completely separate companies. But I, gu I guess they managed to buy Barbie for the third game, but... Th third film. Yes. I don't think she... Was she in the game? No, she wasn't even in that game, so... So anyway, this I is... I thought she was in the game. Uh, I can't remember. Even though uh, I, I played it last year, but I, I cannot remember. Okay, but... Yeah. Uh -huh, I remember. Wait, you think they can't be in? They can't love this. Who did? Oh, the title. Ah, oh, this. Oh, this yeah. Bit. <laughs> yeah, this bit. He's sticking his finger! They're all sticking their fingers. <laughs> No, they just went oh again. They're like, so anyway, we're <laughs> we're playing Sorry. Toy Story 2, or it says it says on the box or something. No, it's two. I guess so. Um, but as they said, B Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the rescue because they were totally different Toy Story 2s. No, they weren't. So anyway, we start this game up with a video from the film that we should have watched already. At 10 frames a second! I should be talking over this because otherwise the copyright holders might think I'm showing clips from the film that I shouldn't be showing. Don't worry, copyright people, I am totally not spoiling your movie, Woody Wins. Plus, this is about like 10 minutes into the film, isn't it? The bit where um, Woody gets taken, isn't it? Yes. So, anyway, this is the first stage. This is a very nice. Nicely structured game, just uh, 15 stages. I remember this bit! <laughs> I haven't it's played. Go straight into the game. It's Molly's. It's Molly's. That's a character? I, I have like no clue. Although I like I liked this, uh, this uh, game. It's called Game Box. I, am Buzz Lightyear. I, come I also don't know what's with these books. They don't really have any covers, but anyway. Oh, actually, what's with that? Rar... Rare... What does that say? Rar's Cool and TT Games. Is that a reference to Traveler's Tales? Or is it the guy from Diddy Kong Racing? You ever play Diddy Kong Racing? Ah, oh, dang it, I suck. First thing happens. Is that Yeah, no, I suck. So anyway, this... There. As I was saying, um, structured game, there's 15 stages, basically think of it as five tiers, 
of stages. You have two regular stages and then you have a stage that just has a boss. Each one of the stages that isn't a boss stage, it's open worlded. So you pretty much can go wherever you want inside the confines of the stage. In each stage there are five, or each non-boss stage, pretty much when I say each stage, just ignore the boss stages. In each stage there's a um, bunch of coins, but you gotta get five tokens, this is also the first person view, which you'll never be using ever after this, because it's really pointless. Um, there's five tokens, there's always a coin one, a collecting five things, one, a boss one, uh, what, what else is there? There's a race one, and I believe there's usually one hidden in the stage. I think that's right. So pretty much they're all under regular confines. So anyway, I'm gonna head up into the attic first, because that's obviously the bit of Andy's house you remember. They put a picture of a wine glass or something there. So anyway, this is groundbreaking gameplay, or as I like to call it, GBG. <laughs> GBA! GBA, maybe? No. No, not. Wait, what did you say? JB. GBG. 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 That's not BB. BB. No, no, not BB. <laughs> I may as well explain this. We always say this BB thing because. <laughs> We have fun memories of Pokemon Channel, and unfortunately, the sound for Volbeat is a little bit odd. But yeah, it's different from the new Illumise. Illumise, yeah. I can't remember what Illumise is once just because of that. I remember Oddish! Oh, yeah, Oddish. Some other do I don't know which one it was. I can't remember any. <laughs> so anyway, all I'm basically going to be doing is going through these stages, collecting things, because I know this game, or at least I know the first few stages very well. The last few stages, I only know them kind of well. But anyway, we've gotten a bunch of coins, and now we're going to fight the boss of the stage. I believe you only need one token from each stage to, pr to continue to the next one, but you need a certain amount of tokens in order to... Um, Oh, dang it, I, I keep missing that, I don't know why. But, um, you need a certain amount of tokens in order to get to other stages. So, like, I think you need three for the boss. But you can get, I believe, all but one of the tokens before the boss. This first stage you can completely clear on your first go. In fact, it's not too difficult. So anyway, what you do with this boss is you you can shoot him whenever you want, but there's no time because he's running at you. The music makes this guy so much more dramatic. And then he explodes because obviously this is... When was this made? 1999 or 2000? I can't remember. Um, but things explode because that's, that's how you can make them go away. I mean, anyway, this is Rex. He tells you... He tells you things about the stages, like things you, you should be doing to get the tokens, but other than that, that's about it. He, he has no purpose. And he's somewhere around every stage as well. Uh, those batteries are your health, because batteries are health. I'm going to head in here, actually, into the garage, because we got a couple of things. I'm going to head up first. I can head around below, but I'm going to head up first. There are blades coming out of the drawers. Something is wrong with this person's garage. If all of this machinery is just... You mean Andy's garage? Yeah, I know. Like, he's got all his drills on at once. Seriously. That's a safety hazard right there, considering you've got, like, three children. Is it three children? No, 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 no. It was only two children, wasn't it? So anyway, if you touch that, that falls down so you can checkpoint yourself. See, that's, a, that's game design when you think of things in the third dimension. You kids and your cover-based combat. Nobody stands up and fights anymore. 
Nobody collects random coins either. Honestly, it makes no sense in the context of the film, doesn't it? Also, why Buzz's laser actually works, because honestly, it never works in the film yet. Here you are, using it to explode everything in sight. But, you know... You know, you have to change things to turn things from a film to a game. In the film, you're expecting things to entertain you, and same in this, but there's different things. So anyway, I'm gonna jump down. That's the RC car. He appears in some of the stages. I believe he only appears in five or four of them. But uh, he counts as the race token in some of these stages. I believe he's also in the next stage, but you'll need a special item. There are five special items in the game that I gotta talk about. You collect them on the first of each of the sets of three stages. So you, you pick them up on 1, 4, 7, 10, and 13. I believe you, you you can get the first, yeah, you can get the first item on this stage, <laughs> but yeah, no. I'm so tired. <laughs> I know. There's a lot of explaining to do. You know, let's just race. I should probably say something. <laughs> but, uh, I believe you don't really use the other, uh, the first two items that much. You use this first item just for this stage, pretty much. And, um, I believe you only need it for, like, one of the later stages. I think, like, 14 or something. Ow. That's how much health it takes off. You can get hit about, like, 15 times, and you can also stand on the RC car's face. But yeah, you have a lot of health, so it makes the game a lot easier than it has to be. But it's a fun game, nonetheless. Even if it is easy. The game doesn't have to be difficult to, to be good. It just helps a lot. But anyway, now we're just kind of waddling around. We've only got a few more rooms to check out. We've got, I believe, this living room. We've got the kitchen, which I'm going to check out last, and then we've got the... You can't even move, nothing can. Um... What was I talking about? We've got the downstairs basement, and the kitchen, and this room. Though. So I'm going to head to the basement after this, because... Unfortunately, the five item thing you got to collect in each stage, they're probably the, m the more annoying ones, just because you got to try and backtrack to somewhere. The coin ones are also kind of annoying, but when you get 50 coins, so that's a coin one, when you get 50 coins... Ooh. Yeah, you also have a spin attack. It's handy if you just need to hit something that's nearby, but... Anyway, so e each of the stages has more than 50 coins wrapped around it. Usually they have about 70 or so, so it's not too difficult to really pick up these things. Especially because I've been playing for about like 15 minutes or so right now. Or I've been in the stage for about 10. And I've already gone through the tokens. So then, anyway, that is an ear. That's that's what you do with to get the items. You gotta find some random objects in the stages and then you've gotta find Professor Egad or whatever his name was. Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> I should, but he wasn't in the in the next game, was he? He was. He was in the film. He he was he wasn't in the game. They couldn't get the rights for him. That's pretty slack when you can't even get the characters from your own film. I mean, music is a bit of a tough one, but the characters, like, like if you're not even allowed to use the characters. Anyway, this is the basement, it's a bit of a mess. I don't believe you can jump. Yeah, you can't jump that. They designed it such a way. So anyway, again with the health hazards, and he has radioactive material in his basement, just poured all over the ground. Also, Mr. Potato Head has a cosmic shield. It makes you handle, like, horrible, because you slip all around but at least protects you from the radioactivity. 
Please don't ask where the heck you got, you got this, considering a lot of the later items aren't as technologically advanced, but probably more useful nonetheless. So anyway, you can go around and try and pick up all these coins. I probably will miss a few, but considering I'm just going to get all the tokens. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, some of these enemies are cheap butts. That's the sound it makes, apparently. Also, there's a double jump. That's something that modern games don't do anymore, don't they? Seriously, the double jump is a savior to platforming. Although I think Mario Galaxy had it, actually. If we count the spin as a double jump. And <laughs> not that spin. Whee! I'm flying the Luigi. Yeah, that's right, I picked up a sheep. So anyway, you get this green laser somewhere in the stage some stages. Uh have two of them, it's kind of weird. But anyway, it's basically just an uber attack upgrade. Um, it's only limited ammo, so you can't spam it, but considering it still lasts you quite a while. But yeah, I don't know what Traveler's Tales are doing anymore. The only recent games I know they made is, okay, you're gonna like this. The only recent games I know they made was the Lego Everything games. Yeah. Yeah. Lego games are awesome. You know, I actually stopped paying attention to them after the Lego Star Wars because they really ran out of ideas. They were just doing the same thing over and over again. Just different, different types of of characters can do different things, and so on. They got Lord of the Rings next! Oh yeah. Oh actually they have a Lego City thing. Oh yeah, Lego City. Everyone keeps calling it like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Lego City or something. I wanna get it, it looks awesome. <laughs> Wii U! Oh yeah, Wii U. We're getting one apparently. People say people on the internet say it's a horrible thing. Well first of all. First of all, considering there are a lot of other systems, I think it's kind of kind of cool how Nintendo is trying out things that aren't tacked on to the system afterwards. I mean, the motion controls for the Wii worked kind of well because it set it apart from, you know, the other systems. Because pretty much the other two systems had the exact same controller, so to speak. Just you know, a face full of buttons, although the PlayStation had random six axis, which worked only a bit of the time. And then the PlayStation, I guess they were the first kind of do motion controls, I mean, with their iToy and all. Yeah, it's like, remember? Remember the iToy? When it was like, hands-free gaming, and now suddenly Microsoft are pulling the same move for the Kinect, except they're being done more successful in the process. A bit of water on the ground as well. What is with Andy? He should clean up his house. Hey, Not even this room and poorly. Hey, boss, right here. It was Bo Peep, not Bo Peep. Not in the third film. Not in the third movie. She got sold in the garage sale. I think that was just because I couldn't get the voice actor. I mean, seriously, if they. It was pretty cool how they brought it back. I will say that. Remember when I said there were about 70 coins in a stage? I had no clue. Oh, don't, don't hang out there. Hang out on the ledge. I'm going to pull this over. I think. I don't think they push 100. Oh, yeah. Now, I always had trouble with this. Right. 
I always had trouble with that, I don't know why. So anyway, we got all the corns. And... Here is your sheep, I shall give you a Pizza Planet token. Why Pizza Planet? That's one thing I'm wondering. So anyway, we got all the five things. And beyond! So we can fly to the ceiling. That's what it looks like. Okay, come on. So anyway, then you get a screen to symbolize your progress. You get to count your coins. I think that's how many coins are actually in the stage. 93. And then I believe if you... You can save your game. I'm going to save the game because I actually have a card slot. <laughs> and behold, the rest of my PlayStation collection. <laughs> it's kind of limited, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll call that a day. I'll see you kids next year, where we'll check out Andy's Nath Borhood, except they spelled neighborhood wrong. <laughs> Why does everything <laughs> spell neighborhood wrong? <laughs> like American spelled... Wait, what did I borrowing? Wrong color. Color. <laughs> and that other word that I don't know is. Anti disestablishment terrorism? Oh, that's not that right. Okay, I'll see you kids next year. Ugh.